Imagine you have six regiments in your army. Each regiment has six different officers having six different ranks. Now the question is, can you arrange them in a six by six square such that no rank or regiment is repeated in a row or a column? At first, it may seem as a hybrid Sudoku problem, but this puzzle has remained unsolved for 243 years. This is known as the Euler's officer problem, named after famous mathematician Leonard Euler, who proposed this in 1779. In the language of mathematics this is known as a greco latin square but first let us understand what are magic squares and latin squares a magic square is an array of integers where the sum of the numbers in each row column and both diagonals are same on the other hand a latin square is an n by n array filled with n different numbers each occurring exactly once in each row and exactly once in each column but these are not just fun and games rather they have many application in various fields Sets of Latin squares that are orthogonal to each other have found an application as error correcting codes in situations where communication is disturbed by noise other than simple white noise. Two Latin squares of the same size are said to be orthogonal if when superimposed the ordered paired entries in the superpositions are all distinct. This is known as a Greco Latin square. Euler observed that Greco Latin squares can be formed for any order except 2 and 6. That is why he conjectured that no Greco Latin square exists for order 4n plus 2 where n is a positive integer. But in 1960 mathematicians used computers to prove that solutions exist for any order except 2 and 6. So Euler was partially correct because there exists no such solution for order 6. Let us first look at the solutions for order 1 3 4 5 7 7 for the officer problem. However, order 2 and 6 do not exist. But recently a group of scientists have claimed to solve this with the help of quantum mechanics. The result is the latest in a line of work developing quantum versions of magic square and latin square puzzles. In quantum mechanics quantum particles such as electrons can be in a superposition of multiple possible states. Quantum objects stay in this limbo until they are measured. After measurement they settle on one state. Entries of quantum latin squares are also quantum states that can be in quantum superpositions. Mathematically, a quantum state can be represented by a vector which has a length and direction like an arrow. A superposition is the arrow formed by combining multiple vectors. This is analogous to the requirement that symbols along each row and column of a latin square do not repeat. The quantum states along each row and column of a quantum latin square must correspond to vectors that are perpendicular to one another. So how does this idea help? In the classical version of the problem, each entry is an officer with a well defined rank and regiment. But in the quantum version, officers are formed from superpositions of ranks and regiments. For instance, an officer could be a superposition of a yellow king and a red queen. The quantum states that compose these officers have a special relationship called entanglement, which involves a correlation between different entities. If a yellow king is entangled with a red queen, then even if the king and queen are both in superpositions of multiple regiments, observing that the king is yellow tells you immediately that the queen is red. The theory seemed to work, but to prove it, the authors had to construct a six by six array filled with quantum officers. A vast number of possible configurations and entanglements meant they had to rely on computer's help. The researchers plugged in a classical near solution which is an arrangement of 36 classical officers with only a few repeats of ranks and regiments in a row or column. Then they applied an algorithm that tweaked the arrangement toward a true quantum solution. The algorithm works a little like solving a Rubik's cube with brute force where you fix the first row then the first column then second column and so on. When they repeated the algorithm over and over the puzzle array cycled closer and closer to being a true solution. Eventually the researchers reached a point where they could see the pattern and fill in the few remaining entries by hand. One surprising feature of their solution was that officer ranks are entangled only with adjacent ranks like kings with queens, rooks with bishops and knights with pawns. Another surprise was the coefficients that appear in the entries of the quantum latin square. These coefficients are numbers that tell us essentially how much weight to give different terms in a superposition. Curiously the ratio of the coefficients that the algorithm landed on was the golden ratio. The solution is also known as an absolutely maximally entangled state or AME. In an AME correlations between measurements of quantum objects are as strong as they can be. 
Two coins can be maximally entangled and so can three, but not four. The new research proves, however, that if you have a set of four entangled dice rather than coins, these can be maximally entangled. The arrangement of six-sided dice is equivalent to the 6x6 quantum Latin square. So in a sense, Euler's unsolvable problem can be solved with the help of computers, little bit of quantum mechanics and some creative thinking. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Please like and share this video and to see such videos in future, do subscribe.